With the recent successful launch of SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, it is now the most powerful rocket currently in existence. The Falcon Heavy also cut the cost of putting a kilogram of material in low Earth orbit from $2,684 per kilogram to an astonishing $1,406. Even with all the history that the Falcon Heavy has made, it isn't the most powerful rocket in all of history, and there are a few rocket systems eyeing its current top spot. Let's take a look at some of the biggest rockets of past and near future and see how they stack up. First, we'll begin with the reigning top dog, NASA's Saturn V. The Saturn V remains the tallest and most powerful rocket system ever and the only one to have helped carry humans beyond Earth's orbit. NASA used the platform in the Apollo 11 through 17 missions and it comes in at a staggering 363 feet tall with a liftoff thrust of 7.6 million pounds. It had the capability of taking 260,000 pounds into low Earth orbit, but after its last mission in 1973, the system was officially retired. While the Saturn V may have the top spot in all of history, the Falcon Heavy holds the top spot for the most powerful rocket currently in existence. Its first test flight took place on February 6, 2018, with the successful launch of a Tesla Roadster into outer space and the landing and recovery of its two Falcon boosters back on Earth. It comes in at 229.6 feet tall and maintains a liftoff thrust of 5 million pounds. It has the capability of taking 140,660 pounds into low Earth orbit at a cost of 90 million US dollars, practically breaking down all previous barriers of entry for spaceflight. While the launch was historic, NASA has a rocket system coming for SpaceX's privately funded endeavors called the Space Launch System, or SLS. The SLS system isn't currently in operation, but it's estimated to be operational no earlier than late 2019. It will have a height of 365 feet and a liftoff thrust of up to 11.9 million pounds. Its maximum payload capacity will be 286,000 pounds into low Earth orbit, and NASA is planning on using the system to get humans to Mars in the early 2030s. The space agency continues to push forward on their mission to get humans to Mars, but the private sector still has more to offer when it comes to the world's largest rockets. Enter Blue Origin's New Glenn Rocket. Blue Origin is the space startup created by Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. They currently have a small reusable rocket in operation to send humans on suborbital tourist trips, but they plan on building a new, bigger rocket capable of sending cargo and humans into low Earth orbit. The scheduled test flight for the New Glenn rocket is set for no earlier than 2020. It comes in at a height of 326 feet with a liftoff thrust of 3.9 million pounds. With an estimated cargo capacity of 100,000 pounds, this rocket won't set any records, but it will offer up even greater competition into getting cargo and humans into space. These four rockets are the past and soon-to-be future leaders in heavy lift technology for spaceflight, but there are a few other notable rockets that should be mentioned. United Launch Alliance, SpaceX's major competitor, is currently developing the Vulcan rocket. It would be capable of lifting 80,000 pounds into low Earth orbit with a thrust of 3.8 million pounds standing in at 228 feet tall. SpaceX is also developing an even bigger rocket system called the Big Falcon rocket. It will have a height of 348 feet, a payload capacity of 330,000 pounds, and a thrust of 11.8 million pounds. The BFR would rival NASA's SLS for its top spot and could potentially come in at a much cheaper price. There's a lot of competition brewing as the modern space race heats up, and all of this will help get humans to the surface of Mars in the next two decades. It's an exciting time to be alive. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our videos, you can click here, here, and here, or you can browse our channel and be sure to like, share, and subscribe.